We kicked off our home and family DIY star contest last week, and we are in search of someone to join our DNY home and family team. Yes. That's right, and we're doing a national search, so if you love to craft, this is really the perfect job for you. And it's really easy to enter. Go to dreamjobbing.com slash home and family TV there at the bottom of your screen and upload a video up to 60 seconds in length and showing uh, 60 seconds in length <laughs> and show us why you are the perfect crafter for the job. Right, and, and Horley, do you have any tips to give anyone out there who might be thinking about this? You know, yeah, I would say really invest Vision the the person at home that you're teaching and really think about he or she and what they are the information they're going to need from you so if you encounter a problem preemptively give them that info that way when they encounter the problem they have the answer because you only have those six minutes generally to give them all the info so just envision who that person is and all the info they might need would you recommend that they know a lot of songs and lyrics to <laughs> I would recommend <laughs> that if they that. don't know any song <laughs> lyrics that they never play songburst again which I think today is the day we've officially decided that's what's happening. You're out. I'm You're out. out. <laughs> I'm out. You can play on my team any day. I love yeah. you. Well, Thank you, are, you. You are putting together a really wonderful um, DIY today, which really anybody can do. Because when I saw these, I'm like, how did you stitch those on? And it's like, nope. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. So this is really exciting. Um, Valentino created these beautiful jackets. They were embroidered camo jackets. I think we have a photo of the original one that I saw and just had to have. Oh. Now, they did a whole collection of these. They did bomber jackets, full-length Anirondack jackets, but they retail starting at $2,000. Oh, Again, this is crazy. Valentino, a lot of yeah. handwork, beautifully right. made, but still, it's uh, that's a crazy yeah, amount of money. Yeah. And so we're going to show you guys how to make them um, for right around 60 bucks. <gasps> this one looks just like, not just yeah. like it, but yeah. what you so did here. Yeah, so this is the same idea. So you guys, these are iron-on oh, patches. I can't that's believe all this I is. saw that. And this is an iron-on patch. That whole, if you can turn the... the it looks um, like it's embroidered, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, like if you turn, no, if you turn oh. the whole uh, mannequin around, uh -huh. and you can see this is all one piece. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. one piece, and I got those on Amazon. And so all you do, I'll show That's you guys amazing. how to do them, but whether it's on a jacket like this, yeah. which is a bomber jacket and a huge trend, or a vintage army jacket, which is what I'm wearing here, um, you can do this, and it's all with iron-on patches. All right, well, let's get started. Let's do it. So the first thing you're gonna do is, um, is get your patches. So I got all these on Amazon. Now, I would really, really recommend trying to buy a variety of colors from sort of the same manufacturer mm -hmm. because they'll look like they go together. Now, you can see on this one, these are all basically the same brand. So they all work together. If I had added something like this in right here, it just, yeah, yeah. right? Like yeah. it just all of a sudden we're going into like child mishmash land. Yeah. So you can see, you know, you kind of want to group them into like patches so that they look like a consistent embroidery. That's what's going to give it that kind of luxe effect. Right. So first thing you do is you pin them on and decide how you want um, your pattern to go. I decided on this one that I kind of wanted it to start really saturated and kind of yeah. peter off. Yeah. So that's what I've done. So when you're going to pin it on, put it in place, decide the angle, and you're going to pin the way that you pin really anything. You go down and you're going to push it back through the top, just like that. All right. So next thing that I would do is kind of come back here, look at it like you do when you're painting, and, and sort of see. why do you do that? It helps you see whether things are, are moving in a nice pattern or whether there's a cluster or something looks like it's missing. And so you'll just kind of go in and, and take a look and rearrange anything once you get some distance. Did you start with a concept of what you wanted to do? I did. Like on my jacket here, you can see I did it sort of, they're evenly spread uh -huh. out and the colors are kind of evenly spread out and I did all pastel colors. That's what okay. I wanted right. for this. For this one, I wanted bright, vibrant colors and I wanted sort of a rainbow effect and for it to peter off. So I knew that. Uh -huh in advance, but there's a little bit of going back and forth um, okay. once you do it. So the next thing you're going to do is iron. Now, the most important thing is getting something like this. It's just a cloth, whether it's linen or cotton, something to protect your patch and your jacket um, from the heat of your iron. Okay. Set your iron all the way, hot, 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 as hot as it goes. And now when you're doing this, if you can show here, I'm going to put my cloth on top and use my fingers to press down so it stays in place and now take my pin out. Make sure you're holding it in place because if you just lay it on, it'll move underneath the fabric and you won't realize it. So now you're gonna press down. You wanna press down hard 
Most patches require about 30 seconds, but I would always recommend starting light. Maybe go for 10 to 15 seconds and assess, see if it's melting, see how it's working, because you can always go back. Can so I, you're. Can I ask yes, you a question? Please. When you go to Amazon, do all patches come with the adhesive on the back? No, you have to look for iron on patches. That's iron, iron on. on. Iron okay. On. Yep. I just searched butterfly iron on, and that's where okay. all these came up. Okay. So you're going to go like this. And now, highest setting on linen. Highest cotton. setting. So okay. I did it for about 15 seconds. You can see the middle is on, but mm -hmm. the sides are not. So I would go back on and do it even more, right? So that's all we're gonna do is until it's fully in place. Once you get each one basically in place, then flip the jacket inside out and you're gonna go from the back side and you're gonna go even more to really, really fuse that glue into the fibers of your jacket. Mm. Okay, so how do you make sure that they don't fall off, Orly? So what I did is I did this jacket and I ended up really loving the way it came out. Uh -huh. So I stitched the corners of the butterfly wings. And I just went with a sewing machine, like one, two, one, two, one, two, really quick. Because if those wings can't come up, then the butterfly can't come up. Right. So it's all on there with the glue, but if you know you're gonna wear it a lot and you're gonna put it through a lot of you know mm -hmm. wear and tear, I would stitch down those corners can, just to be safe. Can you wash these? I would dry clean it. Dry clean it. Yeah, yeah, I would dry clean it just to be safe. Did all I right. see you with coffee with these? Yeah. Okay, so yes, I decided that I wanted to have a really, this one I wanted a really vintage effect. Now, this butterfly here, the white part of the top of the wings is super bright white. And do you remember when you were a kid and you would make projects, like you would send in your project, it was supposed to look like an old, like archeological mm -hmm. something, you would put tea stain or coffee right. stain. So I remember doing that, so I just put coffee, and you can see here, see the difference Ooh, between the two wings? Oh, you just knocked yeah. it down. A it little just bit. got just a little bit more faded, so it wasn't so bright, bright. white, so that right. it didn't look so. Because this jacket is faded, it kind of right. didn't yeah. make sense to have bright white. Right. So I went in and I just darkened those wings just, just a little. Just the white area or the whole thing? Just, just the, the white. white area. Just to okay. just to kind of yeah, bring it down, tone it down a little. Exactly.